Just remember we are never too old to learn anything or something. Also, you are never too old to learn about other people and of course, needless to say, never too old to learn about yourself. That is what lifelong learning is about and what the society has changed for the best that is everybody is learning to cope with the constant shifts of the landscape. There is never ending in what you should learn or what you want to learn. It is just a matter of whether or not you are making up the decision to follow what you have at that moment that is the passion of learning. Learning could involve in new skills, behaviors, and social roles that are developmental involving the significant change in one's perspective or process of meaning making. In transition, we are like our travelers on a journey to a progressive place. Occasionally, we need to look back our life so as to embrace the new journey. In my previous videos, I talk about Chinese medicine, meditation, shamanism or Christianity. They facilitate our journey of learning into another stage with ease to our physical, psychological and emotional connection during the process of transition. I will put the video link in the description section below. Wolf 2005 has a quote, he said, There is an abundance of new challenges posed by transition in adulthood. There is an abundance of new thinking, programmatical and philosophical, and they are essential for an understanding of the underlying cognitive and emotional processes in adult learners. In understanding adult learners, we must accept that we are fellow travelers on a journey to a forward place. Along each journey, it is not always smooth, goal-achieving, or easy task. We are to encounter obstacles, for example, in terms of health, relationship, or other problems. So, it is important to tackle the obstacles by applying methods and techniques to enable or ensure learning and transition connect. Blending the diverse educational concepts and methods such as Chinese medicine, Christianity, shamanism, and many others can help and meet the transitional needs. Somewhere in the middle of learning, we experience conflict that is between continuity and change to develop more complex cognitive and emotional levels. There will be fear, fear that can alienate the learner from the self. So, we need alternative modes of practice to support transitions. The spiritual supports from other domains are powerful to help learners diffuse stress that are threatening while in the process of connection. Other forms of support that can help learners diffuse stress that are threatening while in the process of connection are, for example, a transition course and mentoring program that engage students and educators touch significantly on the lives of the learners. Finally, thank you so much for your participation, watching and listening. Until next time.